2017 Muleshoe Athletics Awards Assembly. First off, let's give uh, River Smith fish and chicken a big round of applause for him. Also, the Booster Club for providing all of this tonight. They furnish the meal, they furnish all the awards. So let's give a big hand to the Booster Club. Would also like to uh, remind all Booster Club members, they're gonna try to have a meeting out here in the Commons as soon as the awards assembly is over. So all Booster Club members, if you could meet out there for a, for a short meeting. At this time, I'd like to introduce the principal of Muleshoe High School, Mr. Steve Meyer. Before we introduce some, uh, some of our special guests, would all the seniors, senior athletes, please make your way behind the curtain for the senior spotlight. All senior athletes. Yes, I'd like to introduce are the 2016-2017 Board of Trustees that are here. Please stand. Uh, I would ask everyone to hold your applause to the very end, but I'm going to call out their names. Please stand so we can get a look at you. Carol Precure, Sergio Leal, Kelly Kettner, Jay Cage, I don't think Curtis Preston or Ashley Turnbow are here, and I'd also like uh, Kurt Miller to stand. He just got voted onto the school board. Please give these gentlemen a great round of applause. Is Daniel here? Daniel, are you here? Okay. And Daniel Guzman is the outgoing member. I'd also like to introduce our superintendent, R.L. Richards. I'm not sure he's back yet. Uh, I know he's on his way. I know Mrs. Hethington is here. Dana Hethington is our assistant superintendent. Please stand. And Rob Hollis, uh, more about Rob in a minute, but he's our assistant principal. He'll be up here actually introducing the seniors. At this time, we would like to recognize several people for their time and energy to cover and promote Muleshoe Athletics. Delton Wilhite, Frank Werfline, and Lonnie Wilhite for their coverage on the Muleshoe Sports Network. <laughs> Gil Roberts, their work, and Gil Robert and Mag Ann for their coverage on Channel 6. We would also like to recognize Frank Worthline again. Got to get up again, Frank. For the beautiful awards he has donated for tonight's event. <laughs> Gabby Perez produced the wonderful senior pictures displayed around the cafeteria. Let's give her. This time, would all the spouses of our coaches stand? These ladies and gentlemen deserve a huge round of applause for their sacrifices, which allow our coaches to coach. A simple thank you is not enough to account for the gratitude we have for you. Thank you so much. Please give them a round. I don't know that they stood. Let's stand up so we can see you. Thank you. This always deserves mentioning. A huge thanks to the Mighty M Band, cheerleaders, fans, and parents for all the support you've given us. You guys are the best. At this time, I'd like to introduce Rob Hollis. Rob is our new assistant principal this year, and he's made a real difference on this campus. He's done a great job. 
He's going to present the senior spotlights, Mr. Rob Hollis. Senior Spotlight 2016-2017 reads this way. Erica Arzola. <laughs> Erica is the daughter of Rose and Hector Arzola. While in high school, she lettered in cheer and powerlifting. Organizations she participated in volleyball, softball, tennis, FCA, Floral Design, National Honor Society, and Science National Honor Society. Her honors include powerlifting, regional qualified, and medalist. Her future plans are she has enlisted in the Air Force in hopes of working for the Intelligence Department. She also desires at some time to obtain her doctorate in physical therapy. Her favorite athletic memory while attending Muleshoe High School reads this way. When she zoned out during the fight song at a football game and was trampled by the team coming out of the tunnel. <laughs> if anyone is wondering, that's why cheerleaders aren't allowed to stand in front of the tunnel as the team takes the field. <laughs> Senior student athlete, Erica Arzola. Briley Bell. Briley is the daughter of Chad and Rebecca Bell, lettering in cheerleading. Activities and organizations include FFA, FCCLA, SCAC, tennis, cross country, FCA, student athletic trainer. Our future plans are to attend Tarleton State University and major in business ministry. Favorite memory while attending Muleshoe High School, while attending cheer camp at the Great Wolf Lodge her senior year this last fall, they were rudely awakened by the fire alarm at 2.30 in the morning and had to walk down eight flights of stairs. An hour passed and it was time to take that same trek back up eight flights of stairs. They got two hours of sleep, did a long day of cheering, only to find out that the girls in another floor burned popcorn and smoked out the floor, and that's why they made two flights of eight steps of stairs. <laughs> Senior student athlete, Riley Bell. I may say. Jaime is the son of Maria Ramirez. Sports lettered in while here at USU High School, football, baseball, powerlifting. His greatest honor was to be a member of the Fighting USU Mule football and baseball teams. His future plans were to attend college, become a master auto and diesel mechanic. His favorite memory was when, as a freshman, he did a backflip, landed on his neck, and no one was there to see it. <laughs> Senior student athlete, Jaime Sayon. <laughs> Samantha Cortez. <laughs> Samantha is the daughter of Fiddy and Christy Cortez, lettering in sports medicine. Other organizations, active member of the FCA Huddle, West Texas Sports Medicine Competition, fifth place, AACI National High School Sports Medicine Championship. Her future plans are to become a pharmacist by attending the University of Pitt at Bradford. Her favorite memory was while training her freshman year, the trainers after two a days decided to dress in full football gear and Briley, leave it to her, plowed her over on the field and she found herself being dragged across the field by the one who plowed her over. <laughs> Senior, student athlete, 
Samantha Cortez. Beto Diaz. Beto is the son of Kit and Beto Diaz, lettering in football, baseball, basketball, and track. Other organizations while here at Milshu High School, Choir, and UIL. Awards and honors, first team all district football, first team all district basketball, the Built Four Tough Player of the Week, Academic Athlete of the Year, first team all state quarterback, offensive most valuable player, academic all state basketball. He plans on attending college and studying to become an engineer. His favorite athletic memory was getting to run out of the tunnel under the Friday night lights in front of the Mule Shoe fans. Senior student athlete, Beto Diaz. <laughs> Dagan Dunham. <laughs> Dagan is the son of Michael and Denise Dunham. While at Mule Shoe, he lettered in football freshman through senior year, basketball freshman through senior year, track his junior year. Organizations include FFA, National Honor Society, and Science National Honor Society. Athletic awards and honors, football, first team all district offensive line, first team all defensive end, first team tight end, district defensive MVP. First team all state, first team defensive end, first team tight end, first team all state basketball, district newcomer of the year, first team all district in basketball, first team all team defense MVP two times, all region team. <laughs> Future plans include to play football for Angelo State University, receive a degree in ag business slash animal science, and see where the good Lord takes him from there. His favorite memory while attending Muleshoe High School was when the children's girls were unaware of us being on the bus next to them and they began changing their clothes. <laughs> Senior, student Zidi Elizalde, better known as Z to us. She is the daughter of Lydia and Saul Elizalde, lettering in basketball, cross country, track, and softball. Organizations include robotics, band, and art. Awards and honors while attending Muleshoe High School, first place individual cross country district meet, and a team member of the district championship 2015. Future plans include attending South Plains College and majoring in physical therapy. Her favorite memory while attending Muleshoe High School was qualifying to run in the cross country regional meet. Student athlete, senior, Z. Elizondo. <laughs> Crystal Flores. Crystal is the daughter of Oscar and Marianne Flores, lettering in softball. Other organizations while at Milshi High School, choir, SCAC, art, National Honor Society, CNA, and Science National Honor Society. Awards and honors, second team, second baseman, sophomore year. First team, pitcher, junior year. Future plans include attending Lubbock Christian University, and while there, work as a CNA to put herself through school. Favorite athletic memory while attending Muleshoe High School, a little field game when Noah and her both ran for the same ball hit in shallow outfield. They collided face to face, fell to the ground, the ball landed uncontested, and no one caught it. <laughs> Senior student athlete, Crystal. Mario 
Boo Flores. Son of Hector and Lord Flores, lettering in track, football, basketball, and cross country. Awards and honors include two-time All-District First Team Defense, 2016 All-State Honorable Mention. His future plans include, and have already taken place, he is enlisted in the Marine Corps. His favorite memory while attending Yoshi High School was beating Breckenridge this fall in football. Senior, student athlete, Mario Flores. Jason Flores. Jason is the son of Michelle and Johnny Flores. While at Muleshoe High School, he lettered in football, basketball, baseball, tennis, track, and golf. He never went to school, but he lettered. <laughs> Organizations include FFA, UIL Small School Academics. His awards and honors in athletics include 2014, 2015, 2016. First team all district receiver, 2015 second team all state receiver, 2016 16 first team all district defensive back, 2016 all state defensive back and first team all state receiver, 2016 Lone Star Varsity 3A most valuable player, 2016 Lone Star Varsity first team receiver, 2016 Lone Star Varsity super team receiver. 2016 Texas Athletic West Texas Super Team Receiver. 2016 Amarillo Globe News Super Team Receiver. First Team All State Receiver. 2014, 15, 16. First Team Point Guard Basketball. Future plans include playing college football and at some time coaching on the collegiate level. His favorite athletic memory while attending Muleshoe High School was watching Dagan go up for a rebound, being blocked out in the air, only to find that Dagan's foot was inside of his shorts <laughs> and drove them to the floor. In panic, he began to try to pull his pants up, but he was entangled with a foot inside of his pants. Much to his chagrin, he finally got his pants up while everyone laughed. <laughs> Senior, student athlete, Jason. Gabby Gonzalez. <laughs> the Queen is the daughter of Juan and Maria Gonzalez. Lettering in Training. Athletic Awards 2016 Trainer of the Year. Future plans include attending college to become an occupational therapist. Favorite memory while attending Muleshoe High School was when Daisy, back her sophomore year, Sam, and Mr. Woolbright fell in slow motion while we stood there watching and laughing. <laughs> Senior student athlete, Gabby Gonzalez. <laughs> Gloria Gonzalez. Kevin Gonzalez. Kevin is the son of Samuel Gonzalez and Imelda Ruvalcaba. He lettered in cross country and basketball while at Mule Shoe High School. Athletic honors include playing for the Mules, and future plans include going to college and studying business. Favorite memory while attending Mule Shoe High School was playing with his bro, Reese, on JV basketball. <laughs> Senior, student athlete, Kevin Gonzalez. Donovan Guterres. Donovan is the son of Latricia Guterres. He lettered in football, basketball, and tennis. Other organizations include choir, 
Athletic Awards and Honors, 2016, first team all district linebacker. 2016, second team all state linebacker. Future plans include attending Angelo State University. His favorite memory while attending Mule Shoot was balling it out with his friends. Senior athlete, Donovan Gutierrez. Dominic Hazel. Dominic is the son of Cynthia Varial and Robert Hazel. Lettering in football, track, and tennis. Other organizations while here at Mule Band, and FFA. Awards and honors. Honorable mention all district offensive line. 2015 second team all district defensive line and offensive line. 2016 first team all district defensive line and offensive line. 2016 all state. Future plans include becoming a pediatric nurse or a history teacher slash coach. Favorite athletic memory while attending Mule High School, playing his first varsity football game against Littlefield, which he thinks was the best game he ever played. This last fall was another highlight of his career, playing with his brother his senior year. Senior year, oh. student athlete. Eric Herrera. Son of Norma Alvarado. Lettering in football and basketball. Other organizations, band. Athletic awards, the ability to play for the Mule Shoe High School football and basketball team. Future plans are to attend Amarillo College and study radiology. Favorite athletic memory while attending Mule Shoe High School whenever I was tripped and rolled coming out of the tunnel at halftime against Brock. Let's do that. Senior Eric Herrera. Jesse Liao. Jesse is the son of Sergio and Tracy Liao. He led her in tennis, track, cross country, and basketball. Other organizations are FFA. Athletic Award, second team All-State, and the academic team for basketball. Future plans include attending Angelo State University. His favorite athletic memory while attending MHS was his sophomore year. He taught Coach Luera into having a cookout for the JV basketball team at his house. They decided to get a friendly game, or what they thought was friendly, of volleyball. During this friendly game, Trey broke their rain gauge, and Tim broke their window. <laughs> After that, we weren't allowed over their house for a while. The senior student athlete, Jesse Leal. <laughs> Atisha Loya. <laughs> she is the daughter of Santana and Alfonso Loya. Lettering in softball track, and golf. Other organizations include SCAC, NHS, Science NHS, Color Guard, Class Officer, Awards and Honors, Softball by District Champs, Freshman, Sophomore Year, Golf Regional Qualifier her Junior and Senior Year. Future plans include attend college, earn a degree, live a happy life. Favorite athletic memory while at Mule Shoe High School hitting a game-winning home run against Shallow Water, her sophomore year for the district championship, senior student athlete, Letitia Boyle. <laughs> Miguel Lucas. Lettering in football. Other organizations include UIL Academics, Reading, Writing, Editorial, Science, and Math. Future plans are to attend Eastern New Mexico University and become a teacher coach. 
favorite athletic memory while attending Mioshi High, getting to experience the thrill of the Friday Night Lights for the first time right here in New York Stadium. See you. Marilyn Melendez. <laughs> Marilyn is the daughter of Amy Melendez and R.C. Allen, lettering in track and basketball. Other organizations, FCCLA, SCAC, Speech and Debate, One Act Play, and Band. Awards and honors, area qualifier for track and field. Her future plans include Texas Tech University and study education and music. Her favorite athletic memory while attending Mioshu High School, being caught for skipping school to get a little breakfast at McDonald's when everything was said and done. I got swats. <laughs> Senior student athlete, Marilyn Melendez. <laughs> Brittany Mendoza. Brittany is the daughter of Abraham and Stephanie Mendoza, lettered in softball and track. Other organizations, FFA, FCA, Art, CNA, Floral Design, Awards and Honors, First Team Utility in Softball, First Team Second Baseman, First Team Third Baseman. Future plans include attending Eastern New Mexico University and majoring in nursing. Her favorite athletic memory, Sounds very similar to one I just read. When half the senior athletes skipped to go to McDonald's, and we thought we were going to get caught, and sure enough, we did. <laughs> Our choices for punishment were either sit in ISS or get SWATs. So we all took the SWATs. <laughs> senior, student athlete, Brittany, and Dozen. Reese Orozco. <laughs> Reese is the son of Rudy and Annette Orozco, lettering in baseball. Other organizations, SCAC, choir, lap, tutor. Athletic awards, all district honorable mention in junior year. Future plans include attending West Texas A&M University and majoring in electrical engineering. Favorite athletic memory at Yoshi High School, when Nathan Rahino broke a light in the locker room and told Coach Boatman, quote, he hits lights out. <laughs> Senior student athlete, Reese Arasa. Blake Parker. Blake is the son of Benny and Carissa Parker, lettering in football, baseball, and track. Other organizations include Speech and Debate, One Act Play, and FFA. Future plans include attending Frank Phillips College and later becoming a game warden. Favorite athletic memory while at Muleshoe High School is when he was pitching and the ball was hit to Jackson in right field. He took the ball, threw with all of his mind, straight into the ground. Senior student athlete, Blake Parker. Javi Perez. Javi is the son of Rudy and Bonnie Perez, lettering in football and basketball. Other organizations, band. Athletic awards, second team all district safety, sophomore, junior, and senior years. Future plans include going to college to become a coach and minor in dance. Find a smoking hot wife and have a family. <laughs> Favorite athletic memory while at Mueshu High School is being able to play with his best friends. Senior student athlete. <laughs> Emily Precure. Emily is the daughter of Carol and Terry Precure and lettered in basketball, track, and golf. Other organizations include SEAC, FCA, National Honor Society, 
Science National Honor Society, Rotary Sweetheart, awards and honors all district golf junior and senior year. Future plans include attending Texas A&M University to pursue a career in environmental design. Favorite athletic memory while attending MHS when Sydney and herself accidentally broke the key to the bus while at Friona. They somehow convinced Coach Parker that he did it. <laughs> the good news is, oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Hey, but here's the good news. They got into the bus. Senior student athlete Emily Precured. Reagan Reynolds. Reagan is the daughter of Rodney and Rebecca Reynolds, lettering in basketball, softball, track, and cheerleading. Other organizations, SCAC. Athletic awards, all district second team center fielder, all district first team outfielder, home run queen, silver slugger award. Future plans include attending Angelo State University, medical school, becoming a pediatric nurse practitioner. Favorite athletic memory while at Muleshoe High School when we were playing in the Amarillo Tournament and we were about to get run ruled and Noah Rojas told me to be like Mike Trout and run and catch the ball off the wall. Come to find out I'm not as talented as him, ended up falling over the fence in center field and had to walk all the way around the fence while the other team waited to shake my hand. <laughs> Senior student athlete Reagan Reynolds. Raya Kudukala. Raya is the daughter of Nomi and Ruben Kudukala, lettering in cross country, softball, and track. Athletic awards include Newcomer of the Year, Workhorse Award, and Most Valuable Player. Future plans including attending Eastern New Mexico University to study sports medicine. Favorite athletic memory while at Mule Shoe High School beating shallow water to, didn't, to win district her sophomore year. Student athlete, Mariah Kubakala. <laughs> Sadie Southern. <laughs> Sadie is the daughter of Susan and Carrie Southern, lettering in basketball, golf, track, and tennis. Other organizations include ARMED, Academic UIL Team, SCAC, FCA, Tax Academic Challenge Team, Athletic Awards, First Team All-District Basketball, all four years. First Team All-District Golf, all four years. Regional Qualifier, all four years. <coughs> State Qualifier, her senior year in golf. Future plans include attending Texas Tech University Honors College and majoring in biology. Favorite athletic memory while at Muleshoe High School was being shallow water for the first time in 14 years this year in an extremely close game. Senior student athlete Sadie Southern. <laughs> Sydney Southern. <laughs> Sydney is also the daughter of Carrie and Susan Southern lettering in basketball, golf, and tennis. Other organizations include FCA, SCAC, ART, UIL Academic Team, Athletic Awards, First Team All-District Basketball, Sophomore, Junior, Senior, First Team All-District Golf, all four years, Regional Qualifier in Golf, all four years. Future plans include attending Texas Tech Honor College and majoring in biochemistry. Favorite athletic memory while at Muleshoe High School, having the opportunity to play for her father for two years. Senior student athlete, Sydney Sutton. Camille Trey Villa. Trey is the son of Sharon Johnson and Woody Villa. He lettered in football, basketball, track, and tennis. Other organizations, choir, one act play. Athletic honors, all district receiver, junior year. All district running back, senior year. 
All district honorable mention in basketball senior year. Regional track qualifier, both his freshman and junior year. Future plans include attending West Texas A&M University and studying physical therapy. Favorite athletic memory while at Muleshoe High School. When I accidentally triggered the fire alarm at the last basketball home game and it echoed through the great halls of Muleshoe High School. Senior student athlete, Trey Villa. Victoria Villalobos. The daughter of Cynthia, Cynthia and Ricky Villalobos, lettering in softball. Other organizations include SCAC. Awards and honors, the Fighting Heart Award. Future plans include attending college at Eastern New Mexico University. Favorite athletic memory while attending Muleshoe High School when Coach Miller hit a ball to Jill. She fell, her glove came off, she never caught the ball. Senior student athlete, Victoria Villalobos. Put your hands together one more time for our senior athletes. Awards part of tonight, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce Mr. Steve Mide again as, as uh, he announces one very special award. This award is a great uh, award. Uh, I love the tradition Yoshu has in doing this. And the best thing about it is sometimes good things happen to good people. No one sitting in this audience has supported all of our kids more than the recipient of this award for longer. They have been her kids for a very, very long time. This award goes to an individual, a business, a fan, or a special person in the community who gives their ultimate support to Muleshoe Athletics. This person gives unconditional loyalty and encouragement for the athletes of the Muleshoe Schools. This person is present at nearly all of the athletic events. Very seldom will we not see this person in the stands cheering on our athletes. We thank you for all the support you give to the mules. This year the award goes to an individual that displays all these qualities and so much more. Please join us in honoring this year's Legend Award recipient, Mrs. Debbie Gallman. here to support her. Varsity cheerleaders, would you please come to the stage? Varsity cheerleaders. <laughs> if you were a JV cheerleader, would you please stand? JV cheerleaders. Mrs. King is so thankful for all these cheerleaders and their hard work. Let's give the JV cheerleaders a round of applause. The 
The MHS cheerleaders had a great year. Miss King is proud of this squad, and we started off the year at camp doing, doing the fight song a million times and ended up getting to do it more while supporting the mules. Seniors on the squad this year are Riley Bill, Chris Flores, Crystal Flores, and Reagan Reynolds. We also had two juniors on the squad, Brianna Barone and Hallie Mike. The 2017-18 cheerleaders have been elected and are already working hard to promote school spirit and mule pride. At this time, if you're a new cheerleader in the audience, would you please stand? May you always remember to be like a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Your Milshu High School cheerleaders. At this time, would we have could we have all the student athletic trainers please come up to, on the stage? The student athletic trainers for 2016-2017 are Samantha Cortez, Gabby Gonzalez, Brendan Rodriguez, Kaylee Herrera, Clarissa Rubalacaba, and Chantel Kane. We cannot begin to thank you all enough for the countless hours you have given to the many sports teams of Muleshoe High School. You have worked diligently to ensure the safety and care of the athletes throughout the year. We hope you have learned many things and made lifelong friends and memories. Doc defiantly could not have done her job without you. Thank you for everything and your contributions, hard work, and time do not go unnoticed. This year we had two seniors on the team, Sam and Gabby. You will never know how much you contributed to the program for the many years of service you provided. Thank you both for everything you have done and well wishes for your future. You will always be welcome to come tape an ankle or two anytime. We will miss you both greatly. At this time, Doc would like to recognize the Student Athletic Trainer of the Year. This young lady has worked hard for four years taking care of the athletes at Muleshoe High School. She is always wanting and willing to learn along with helping teach the other student athletic trainers along the way. She has been a great asset and a leader to this program. She will be greatly missed as she will be graduating this year and preparing to attend the athletic training undergraduate program at the University of Pittsburgh at Bradford, Pennsylvania. This year, Student Athletic Trainer of the Year, Samantha Cortez. Let's give a round of applause for your Student Athletic Trainers. Thank you. At this time, would all the varsity boys and girls that participated in cross country please come to the stage? Boys and girls, varsity cross country. The JV girls cross country please stand. JV girls cross country. And also, uh, Jesse Navajar and Jacob Barone please stand, the JV boys. We'd like to thank these guys and girls. They worked extremely hard all year and represented Milshu High School very well. The varsity girls competed well at the district meet with Lily Martinez leading the way with a first place finish and a time of 1359.57, earning her a spot at the regional cross country meet. Other members who competed at the district meet were Alyssa Wheeler, Delaney Martinez, 
Reina Regalado, Jocelyn Ramirez, Kendall Miller, and Satalia Vargas. Is that the way you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Lily Martinez just missed moving on to state from the regional meet, placing 34th out of 172 runners with a time of 1354.8. Super job, ladies. You did great. <laughs> the varsity boys team performed outstanding at the district meet, placing third as a team and earning them a spot at the regional cross-country meet. Leading the way and finishing fifth in district with a time of 1913.59 was Eduardo Patoya. He was followed by his teammates Jose Nava, Ethan Gonzalez, Ricky Diaz, and Michael Lozano. The boys team represented Milshu with pride at the regional meet and even though they came up short of our team goal, we are young and with a lot of talent and high expectations for next year. Awesome job, guys. <laughs> Coach Parker would like to thank Coach King and Coach Lowry for all their hard work with the Junior High Cross Country Program. And a special thanks goes out to Colton Hollis, who volunteered to help with the high school cross country program and played a vital role in the success of these young athletes. The following awards, the Mule Cross Country Newcomer of the Year, Ethan Gonzalez. Your Lady Mule Cross Country Newcomer, Alyssa Wheeler. Your Lady Mule MVP, Liliana Martinez. And your Mule MVP, Eduardo Patoya. MHS cross country teams. Give them a round of applause. At this time, would all the varsity football players please make your way to the stage? All varsity football players. The freshman football team, please stand. Freshman football team. These guys were coached by Stephen Butler and Trevor Owens. The freshman football team had another excellent year. Their record was nine wins and zero losses. These guys just love to play the game. We have not seen a group of boys who get so excited about the everyday grind that these guys do. They show up ready to work every single day. Not only did, did it show on Thursday nights during the football season, but throughout the whole year. These guys are hungry, and they will carry the torch in, coming, in the coming years. You will see some of these guys in the varsity uniform next year. This is your 2016 freshman team. You guys stand back up and get a round of applause again. Would the JV football team please stand? And, and remain standing until they get third place. Remain standing. The JV team was coached by John Jay and David Sturman. The JV football team had a very successful year. They ended their season with a 6-3 record and had a district record of 4-1. This group of boys had to overcome many obstacles as the year went along, but this didn't keep them from giving the varsity a great look on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. We robbed them of a number of players as the season progressed, but that didn't slow them down come Thursday nights. 
Their determination has risen to a higher level for the last few months, and this will help fill many varsity spots next year. These guys had a little taste of that already. Remember the two touchdowns these guys scored against Kermit in the first playoff game? Your 2016 JV football. Varsity football team. For the third year in a row, we had to find some linemen when we started two-a-days. We only had one returning lineman coming back from the previous year. We also had to replace an all-state quarterback. Coming in from a great off-season and summer conditioning program, we realized we would be able to do just that. Our team was hungry and prepared for another prosperous season. We finished the non-district schedule at three and two and was well poised to take a run at the district championship. But with a disappointing loss to River Road and Littlefield, we found ourselves in unfamiliar waters. We had to do some soul searching and work out some unforeseen kinks. With a convincing win over Shallow Water at our last district game, we finally found our groove and rolled in the playoff with confidence. In the bi-district game, we rolled to a 68-13 victory against Kermit. The following week, we ran up against the Breckenridge and found ourselves behind 21 to seven. Thank goodness for half times. We exploded in the third quarter and scored four touchdowns in a little over two minutes, or excuse me, 12 minutes. <laughs> Won the game 47 to 35 in dramatic fashion. We then had to play Brock, who was the defending state champion. We played them tough, and just after halftime, we were just one point behind. But eventually lost the game 19 to 48 and ended our season with a record of eight and five. Coach Wood would like to thank all his coaches for their time and effort for this season. Coach Boatman, Wes Wood, John Jay, David Sturdivant, Stephen Butler, Ryan Miller, Brian Larrera, R.C. Mills, Trevor Owens, Albert Lopez, and Zach Toscano. He would also like to thank Crystal Miller and all the student trainers for the countless hours as they, that they put in during the season. Our, accomplish, our accomplishments would not be possible without all your efforts. Thank you. And now for the awards. Uh, we have a Wall of Fame presentation, and we... These are athletes we had that added to the Wall of Fame this year. The first inductee earned first team all district honors his junior and senior year. Please congratulate Mario Boo Flores. Our second inductee earned first team all state honors. Please congratulate Dominique Hasley. <laughs> Begins with the H, Coach Wood. <laughs> Our third inductee was an All-State performer in 2016. He was also the Built Ford Tough Player of the Week. Beto Diaz. Our fourth inductee was an All-State player in 2015 and 2016. And now pay close attention to this. He is now the state record holder for 3A in receiving yards in a single season. Jason Flores. And our fifth inductee was, a, was the District 1-3A Defensive Player of the Year in 2015. He was an All-State performer in 2015 and 2016. And he's going to attend Angelo State University on a football scholarship, Dagan Dunham. At this time, we'd like to recognize our team captains. The captains 
on this year's football team. These guys are voted on by their teammates and are the backbone of the team. They did a great job of carrying out and maintaining the duties and responsibilities of team captains. Thank you for your leadership and character. Two-year captain, Dagan Dunham. Two-year captain, Beto Diaz. Jason Flores. And Boo Flores. Our most improved award, we have two this year. One opened the holes and the other one ran through them. The most improved award goes to Carlos Mesa and Mikey Lozano. The Defensive Player of the Year, this player led the team in tackles for two straight years. Our Defensive Player of the Year, Donovan Gutierrez. Next for our Offensive Player of the Year, this player accounted for 4,982 total yards this year. 4,100 yards through the air, and 882 yards on the ground. Offensive Player of the Year, Beto Diaz. <laughs> and for the Mule Shoe Football Most Outstanding Award, this guy started, and get this, started for four years on the varsity team. Most outstanding player, Dagan Dunham. Our MVP Fighting Heart Award. This award goes to the player, as I mentioned before. And if you didn't get it the first time, holds, holds the state record, Class 3A, for the most receiving yards in a single season, Jason Flores. Your area champions, varsity football team. Thank you. We have all the Lady Mule varsity basketball team to the stage. All Lady Mule varsity basketball team. Lady Mules had a great year in basketball at all levels. At this time, with the ninth grade and the JV teams, please stand and remain standing until I get through. Lady Mules, ninth grade and JV basketball teams. These two teams had a very successful year. Freshmen finished the season with an overall record of nine and six, and the JV with an overall record of 20 and six. JV was also the, Far the Farwell Tournament champions back in December. They improved every week and it was a lot of fun to watch them grow and learn to compete. We'd like to thank Coach Johnson and Coach Miller for their dedication and hard work with these players. We're expecting great things from these athletes in the future. Thank you. Congratulations on a great year, ladies. Your ninth in JV, Lady Mules basketball team. The Lady Mules varsity basketball team had a very competitive and challenging year. The Lady Mules ended the season with an overall record of 15 and 12 and a district record of 8 and 6. Even though the Lady Mules fell short of making the playoffs, a foundation made up of hard work and determination has been laid for the future. A special thanks goes out to our graduating seniors who have not only played an intricate part in our basketball program, 
but have been out and outstanding role models in our school and community. Your seniors, Marilyn Melendez, Brittany Mendoza, Emily Precure, Sadie Suddeth, Sydney Suddeth, and Reagan Reynolds, your seniors. <laughs> Coach Parker would like to thank Coach Lowry and Coach King for doing an outstanding job at the junior high and for all the other extracurricular jobs and duties they perform and do, and do not receive near, near the recognition they deserve. Coach Johnson, who has to do all the jobs Coach Parker doesn't want to do, <laughs> always with a receptive attitude. She has been a great addition to our program and our staff. Coach Miller for his work and patience with the ninth grade girls. I'd also like to thank the, uh, the managers Jasmine Gutierrez, Hallie Mai, and Ricardo, Ricardo Elizalde. And also Coach Crystal Miller for tending to our bumps and bruises. Also to Coach Wood for all his support, guidance, and patience. Last but definitely not least, Coach Parker would like to thank his wife, Tammy, for allowing him to do what he truly loves. Awards tonight, uh, Sadie Suddeth and Sydney Suddeth were both named to the first team, 2-3-A All-District Team. And now for the following individual awards. The Defensive Player Award goes to a young lady who was called upon to guard players twice her size and always accepted the challenge with a sheepish grin and a look of, I got this. The Defensive Player of the Year, Sydney Suddeth. The Offensive Player of the Year goes to a special player who always took it upon herself to lead. She did, she did this not only by scoring points, but also by being the spark that would ignite and fuel our offense. This year's Offensive Player of the Year, Sadie Sutton. The last award is the Heart Award. This award is given to the person we believe exemplifies a never-die attitude. The Fighting Heart Award this year, Reagan Reynolds. <laughs> Lady Mules varsity basketball team. Varsity Boys Basketball, please make your way to the stage. Varsity Boys Basketball. Freshman Boys Basketball, please stand. Freshman Boys Basketball. This year's freshmen had a record of 8 and 10. They are very undersized, but made it, up, made it up for it with hustle. They competed very well in every game they played. We look forward to some great years for these guys your freshman basketball team. Now with the JV basketball, please stand. JV boys basketball. These guys had an overall record of nine and 12. This group of young men played hard and will need to grow up quickly as they will be the varsity team next year. Your JV basketball team. This year's varsity team had a record of 15 and 15. This group of seniors started the year off going two and two at the Denver City Tournament, then reeled off four straight wins, three of those at the Farwell Tournament, to become champions of, the, of that tournament. The next two games, we played up in class against state-ranked teams and were very deserving of those rankings. We then started district and started with a loss going in started with the loss going into the Christmas break. The first round of district play was not good for us as we finished up with a record of three and four, sitting fifth place. Starting the second round, we revenge losses to Demet Slate. 
ended up the second round five and two and earned the right to play for a playoff spot. These young men earned a playoff spot by beating Slayton in the playoff. They faced off with the defending state champion in 2A Canadian in the bi-district game. Unfortunately for us, Canadian's playoff experience was too much and ended our season. I want to congratulate these young men on outstanding four years. Your individual awards tonight, your boys basketball, your Iron Man, Boo Flores. Your Offensive Player of the Year, Beto Diaz. Your Defensive Player of the Year, and also the record for the most fouls, Jesse Leal. And your MVP, boys basketball, Dagan Dunham. Your Muleshoe High School varsity basketball team. this time, would all the young men and women that competed in powerlifting this year please come to the stage? If you competed in powerlifting, please come to the stage. I'd also like to thank Mr. David Bella for all his help during help this year during the, during the powerlifting season. Yoshi Powerlifting had a successful powerlifting season. This year's team worked extremely hard coming in early in the mornings and staying late in the afternoons. With all the hard work, we saw an increase in personal records and overall totals. This motivated and dedicated group complete, competed well and improved every week. The number of powerlifting athletes are increasing and the popularity of the sport is on the rise. Powerlifting is a sport that allows you to compete against others, but mainly against yourself. A sport that will help you build self-esteem, self -esteem, confidence, personal strength, and lots of discipline that will carry on in life. I hope that we keep working hard and stay motiv motivated to improve. We're looking forward to next season. This year's regional qualifiers, and step forward when I call your name, Erica Arzola, Brianna Barone. One academic All-State second team, Eric Azola. Erica Azola. <laughs> now for the awards, girls MVP, Erica Arzola. And your boys MVP, Michael Lozano. Your Muleshoe High School powerlifting team. With all senior tennis players and varsity tennis team, please come to the stage. Senior tennis players and varsity tennis team. Tennis players, please stand. <laughs> Give some of the awards for the JV. And, uh, we have uh, Sophia Sainz. Sainz, Sophia Sainz. She is a gold medal and girl single for the second year in a row.
Ethan Gonzalez and Luke Del Toro, gold medal in the boys' doubles. Derek Barone and Keelan Flores, silver in the boys' doubles. Erica Arzola and Zamora Regalado, gold in the girls' doubles. Anna Phillips and Adriana Mora, silver in the girls' doubles. Riley Beal and Jackie Rajas, bronze in the girls' doubles. And Javi Perez and Natalie Diaz, bronze in the mixed doubles. Coach Jody Wood would like to say a special thanks to Coach David Wood. In between all that he does in the spring, he spent many hours helping the tennis team. Thank you, Coach. Your district tournament medalist on the varsity, Jason Flores and Liliana Barrera in the mixed doubles. They won silver and qualified for regionals. Jesse Leal and Luke Leal, AKO, AKA Leal II, won a bronze medal in boys' doubles, Leal Squared. <laughs> Hallie Myatt and Sadie Suttoth, bronze medal in the girls' doubles. This team competed in seven tournaments and played approximately 472 matches with a record of 255 wins and 217 losses. The tennis awards this year, the Fighting Heart Award, goes to two girls, Sadie Suttoth and Sydney Suttoth. And your tennis MVP awards this year goes to two people, Jason Flores and Liliana Barrera. <laughs> Coach Jody Wood is very proud of her tennis players and their love for tennis. She is honored to coach these outstanding players. Congratulations to our seniors and all our medalists. Your Milshu High School tennis team. Would your Lady Mule and Mule golf players please make your way to the stage? Lady Mule and Mule golf players. great 2017 season. Everyone worked hard and improved their games. Some of the more experienced were able to fine tune their skills, while some of the new members were able to make great strides in their abilities to play this very intricate game. The Mules members played very well in each tournament. They placed fourth in the Holy Cross tournament and tied for fourth in the district tournaments. Jason Flores ended up 10th overall individually in district, and Wyatt Parker ended up 15th overall. The boys' team will be bringing back three of the four team members and look to make a great run at things next season. The Lady Mules had a fantastic season. They never placed lower than fourth in any tournament. They were fourth at the Denver City Tournament, first at Roosevelt Tournament, second in the Holy Cross Tournament, and then finished second in the District Tournament. In the Roosevelt Tournament, they were 11 teams, including most of our district opponents, so placing first was a huge, huge accomplishment. Emily Precure led the team at Roosevelt with the season best 94 and placed six individually. Sadie Suttoth led the team at Holy Cross with a 96 
and placed second overall individually. At the district meet, Sadie Suttoth placed third overall, Sydney Suttoth fourth overall, Emily Preacher seventh overall, and Letty Loya twelfth overall. At regionals, the ladies played very well. They gave themselves a chance on day one, and that was what they had hoped for, hoped to do. Day two didn't go as well as we hoped for the team, but we had a bright ending when Sadie qualified for the state tournament as an individual. She shot an 83 the first day and an 89 the second day to place fourth overall and second individual heading to the state meeting. We wish her the best of luck next week as she represents Mule Shoe proudly. Give her another round of applause. Your boys golf award, Jason Flores. And your girls golf award, State Qualifier, Sadie Suttoth. Your Lady Mules and Mules golf teams. Give them a round of applause. All the Lady Mules varsity track team, please make your way to the stage. Varsity. Lady JV Girls Track Team, please stand. JV Girls Track. I guess they're still running. But. <laughs> Coach Jay and Coach Johnson would like to recognize the JV Girls Track Team at this time. These girls competed in multiple varsity track meets this year, as there was not as many, uh, not many JV track meets. However, they did represent Millshire at the district meet, where they received first place in team totals. These girls did an outstanding job representing their school. Coach Jay appreciates your hard work and your commitment to the Lady Mills track program and look forward to all of you participating in the years to come. Your junior varsity and 2017 district champions, JV Lady Mills. Coach Jay would like to thank all the track coaches for their time and commitment working with these young ladies every day. These coaches really spend a lot of time with the athletes in their respective events and allowed each athlete to be very competitive at all the track meets. He would also like to thank uh, Coach Crystal Miller, Gabby Gonzalez, and Daisy Busby for the countless hours they spent with us. With, with the student athletes to assist them in keeping them healthy. Finally, a big thank you goes out to all the volunteers in our booster club for working both our invitational and our junior high district track meets. We could not have run these off successfully without everyone lending a helping hand. Coach Jay would also like to congratulate all these girls on their accomplishments which they achieved through the work they put in all year and throughout the track season. It's been a pleasure working with these girls and I appreciate the way they have represented Millshoe High School in our community. Now we'd like to recognize the young ladies that moved on past the district track meet. The area qualifiers this year, Lily Martinez in the 1600. Please step forward. Sophie Reyna in the shot put. Kendall Miller in the 800 relay and mile relay. Natalie Elizalde in the 400 relay. Reyna Regalado in the mile relay. Brianna Barone in the 400 relay. Emily Mora in the 400 relay. 
Joy Watts in the 800 and mile relays. Woo! Mariah Rublakaba in the 800 meter run. The 800 and mile relay also. Keely Dunham in the 400 and 800 relay. She was also district champion in the discus with a toss of 110 feet, 4 inches. Regional qualifiers, Lily Martinez in the 1600 meter run, Keely Dunham in the discus, Mariah Rublakaba in the 800, the 800 relay team, Kendall Miller, Keely Dunham, Joy Watts, Emily Mora, with alternates Mariah Rublakaba and Brianna Barone. Also in the mile relay, Kendall Miller, Mariah Rublakaba, Joy Watts, Raina Regalado, and alternates Natalie Elizalde and Emily Mora, your regional qualifiers. <laughs> this year's Newcomer of the Year Award goes to two different lady athletes, Joy Watts and Emily Mora, Newcomers of the Year. Most Improved Runner Award, Raina Regalado. The Best in Field Events Award, your district champion, Keely Dunham. Your work Workhorse Award, Gloria Gonzalez. And your Fighting Heart Award, Keely Dunham. Now for the MVP Award, this athlete was the top point scorer for the Lady Mules track team. She was one of the top two scoring individuals at ever track meet 2017 season. Point totals of 30, 12, 21, 17, 18, and 12 for a total of 110 total points during the track season. The high point in Lady Mules track MVP, Mariah Ruvalacaba. Your Lady Mules track team. <laughs> Varsity Mules track team, please make your way to the stage. Varsity Mules track team. JV Boys, if you participate in JV Boys track, please stand. Coach Wood and Coach Owens would, would like to congratulate you on a successful season. These young men competed well all year. They won a couple of meets this year and battled extremely well in all. They really appreciate their hard work throughout the year. Your JV track team. <laughs> Coach Westwood would like to thank all the track coaches for all their efforts this year. These coaches really spent a lot of time with their respective events. And it is because of them that they were successful. Also, a big thank you goes out to all the volunteers and the Booster Club for working both the junior high and high school invitational meets. I can honestly say that our meet was one of the most well-organized well organized, and most efficient meet we went to this year. They operated very smoothly and professionally, especially the announcer. He was great for the varsity meet. <laughs>
This year, the Varsity Boys competed well in a very tough 18 district. The Varsity Boys finished fifth as a team at the district meet. The track team was very solid and fought hard through a plague of injuries. Each athlete competed extremely hard and contributed in their own way to help their team. Our team was extremely young as they competed without a single season, a, se a single senior participant. Hopefully that means a bright future for boys track. The coaches and the community appreciate their hard work and dedication to Muleshoe Athletics. We could be, we could not be more proud of these guys. The area qualifiers this year were Yoel Reyes in the 200. Eduardo Pantoya in the 16 and 3200. Joe Wagner in the 110 hurdles, 300 hurdles, and pole vault. George Alberon in the high jump. In the 4x400 four relay, Michael Lozano, Jacob Kettner, Romeo Reyes, and Luke Del Toro. Regional qualifiers, Yoel Reyes in the 200, Eduardo Pantoya in the 16 and 3200, Joe Wagner in the pole ball, and George Alberon in the high jump. <laughs> this year for the awards, we have some honorable mention awards. These goes to three guys, Romeo Reyes, Luke Del Toro, and Leonel Camarena. The newcomer of the year this year, and he's just a sophomore, Eduardo Pantoya. Best in Field Events Award, and he's just a junior, Joe Wagner. <laughs> the most improved award, sophomore Justin Carrion. The Workhorse Award, junior. Michael Lozano. This year's track MVP, sophomore Yoel Reyes. And the Fighting Heart Award this year is awarded to, a, to the person who contributed the most to our overall team success with 116 total points. Sophomore, George Alvaron. Your Varsity Mules track team. Would the Varsity baseball players please make your way to the stage? Varsity baseball team, please make your way. If you played on the JV baseball team, please stand. These young men worked hard all year long in spite of the restrictive rules inherent in the game of baseball, which, especially with a group so large as this, always compromise playing time. Nonetheless, they have given great effort. They have been unselfish. They have been receptive to teaching. They have conducted themselves honorably. And we will look forward to their contributions in the future. Thank you, your JV baseball team. <laughs> Coach Sturdivant and I met, were at the baseball coaching school this January in Waco. We talked with great anticipation about our upcoming season. We knew that we would be a young team, again, but that 
We would be talented, hardworking group. With our district, though, including traditional rivals Littlefield and Shallowater, as well as the added punch of Idaloo and Rosebell, we knew we had our work cut out for us. We were excited about the talented juniors and seniors we would have returning to the squad, but we understood that that there would not be many of them, but they would not be many of them, so our freshman and sophomore classes would once again form the core of our program. We understood that some of these kids could be called upon to help us on the varsity stage. They did not disappoint. At different times throughout the year, we started multiple freshmen and sophomores in our lineup. Our older players took these younger guys under their wing, stuck by them, and encouraged them all along the way. And over the course of the season, little by little, we helped one another to improve. We are so grateful for the unselfishness of our veteran players and thankful for the maturity that our young kids have shown. The playing experience that they received will help us in the future and we look forward to a strong junior class next year. Coach Sturdivant, Coach Bowman would like to express their special thanks to all the players for their commitment and hard work, their fellow coaches for all their help, consideration, and sharing, and the players' families for their continued encouragement. They would also like to thank their wives for everything that happens behind the scenes. At this time, we'd like to honor a few of these young men with the presentation of individual awards. We'll start with the Offensive Player of the Year, which goes to a young man who led the team in multiple categories, including batting average, hits, extra base hits, walks, and fewest strikeouts per plate appearance. Your Offensive Player of the Year, Jojo Rahino. <laughs> Defensive player of the year goes to one of our toughest mules. When the ball went into the air in his direction, it was as good as guaranteed to be caught for now. The defensive player of the year, Mikey Lozano. The pitcher of the year honor goes to a young man who led our team in strikeouts and who gave up fewer walks, hits, and runs per inning than any other player, giving us a chance to win every time he threw. Our most valuable pitcher, Jason Flores. <laughs> Newcomer of the year goes to a young man with a unique skill set that allows him to fill a variety of roles. This year's Newcomer of the Year, Matt DeLeon. The Team MVP Award goes to the best all-around baseball player. This young man seems not to be satisfied with being good, but comes to work every day with a mindset to improve. In some small way, on the day before. Congratulations to the 2017 Baseball MVP, Jojo Rahino. Let's give another hand to your 2017 Mules Baseball Team. Lady Mules varsity softball team, please make your way to the stage. Lady Mills softball team, please stand. Lady Mills JV softball team. This team was coached by Coach Mills. Would you stand, please? Yes, go Coach Mills! <laughs>
JV team had their ups and downs over the year, but finished on a good note and pushed our varsity to be better every day. They had an overall record of four and seven. We are proud of the way they finished the year, and I look forward to next year with this group of young ladies. Your JV softball, give them another hand. varsity team this year is coached by Ryan Miller and R.C. Mills. They faced some tough teams in pre-district play and helped them prepare for the district. The Lady Mills finished with an overall record of 12-17-2 and, and had a district record of 5-5. Five and five. They were knocked out of the playoffs in the bi-district round by River Road. Some of our favorite memories for this year include when Z ran into the fence while going after a fly ball at the Caprock Tournament, scoring 11 runs in the sixth inning to beat Slayton 12 to 10, and our big win against Roosevelt in the bottom of the seventh inning to put them in the playoffs. <coughs> at this time, I'd like all the seniors to step forward, please. Coach said it would be a, it was a privilege to be your coach, and we'd like to thank you for everything that you have given us in the time you have spent with us at Muleshoe High School. You will be missed, and we wish you the best on all your future endeavors. At this time, we'd like to say a few a few thank yous. First, I'd like to thank our manager, Mercedes Manzanales, for everything she did for us on a daily basis this year. To Coach Mills for being a big part of our success and for taking care of things when I was out. He'd also like to thank Coach Wood and the administration for their continued support throughout the year. To the maintenance department who spent countless hours working on our field, giving us the best playing service possible. Last but definitely not least, I'd like to thank my wife, athletic trainer, for get, the athletic trainer for getting my girls back on the field and for putting up with with him. <laughs> we could not have had a softball season without any of these people, and the softball team is truly blessed to have such a support system. And now for your awards. This year's pitcher award goes to a girl who always put the team first. She only, allowed, she only walked three batters and had a 700 winning percentage throughout district play. The Pitcher of the Year Award, Crystal Flores. Our Golden Glove recipient, recipient ended the year with a fielding percentage of 782 with, a total, with 119 total chances. This year's Golden Glove Award goes to senior shortstop Mariah Rublakaba. This year, our Senior Slugger Award goes to a girl who had a 462 batting average with 12 doubles and four triples and led the team with four home runs. The Silver Slugger Award, Z Elizalde. Our Fighting Heart Award goes to a player who always found a way to get on base or do something to help the team out. This young lady would come to practice every day with a smile and a winning attitude. She did not always play in the field, but never complained and always was about what was best for the team. This year's Fighting Heart Award goes to sophomore Madison Hasley. Next up is our MVP award. This award goes to a young lady who has endured quite a bit throughout the season. She has the highest fielding percentage and she has always found ways to get on base and get outs. This year's MVP, Brittany Mendoza. Your 
2017 Varsity Lady Mules Softball Team. ceremony. I'd like to make one announcement, a reminder of the Booster Club members. They're going to try to have a little meeting, short meeting out here at the Commons Dining Area immediately following. And um, we also remind all seniors and their parents, the pictures are available. You see one of the board members from Chad Bell. If you'd like to purchase those, I think they're $25. But we'd like to thank you for coming out. Another successful season of Mule Spew Athletics. Let's give all the athletic, all the athletes, the coaches, trainers, everybody a big round of applause. Would you please stand as we pray? Father, we thank you for this night and for the opportunity to be here. We thank you for this night represents and stands for success, dedication, commitment, a love for something bigger than ourselves. But Father, we would be uh, remiss and wrong if we not pause and say thank you to you for being our God, Father, for being our Savior, for giving us an opportunity to live in this great city, this great state, and this great land. So with that, we pause, we honor you. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to be a part of all of these young students' lives. Whether it's on the field, in the hallway, in the classroom, or in their homes. Thank you for their parents, the significant people that they represent, and they're represented by. Father, as we pause to give just a word of accolade for what we've seen in the production of these young student athletes, Father, it has been a good year. We are grateful. But Father, most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, crucified that we might be forgiven and resurrected that we might have eternal life. So it's in the high name that we offer this prayer to the Most High King, Jesus Christ. Amen. You are dismissed. Thank you. For